Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about algebra in which our focus tonight is all about the laws of exponents. So right now, we have here the quantity of 3x y cubed raised to the second power times 4x squared y to the fourth power raised to 2. So before we start answering this question, let's have first the simple equations or the simple expressions to be simplified using loss of exponents. So I have here four different examples, then right after this, we will try to answer the first given expression. So let us start with this one. 2m squared times 3m cubed. So here, first thing we need to do is to multiply the numbers. 3 times, sorry, 2 times 3. So we have 6. And as for the variables, we have the variable m, the exponents are m squared, m cubed. So what we need to do here is to copy first the same variable, which is m, and then add the exponents 2 and 3. So what we have is that we have 2 plus 3. And to simplify your answer, copy 6, copy your variable m, and then add the exponent. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Therefore, the product of m, 2m squared, times 3m cubed is simply 6m raised to the fifth power. Now let's move on with item number 2. By the way guys, in this item, we applied the product rule. For number 2, this one is 5x to the fourth power, y squared, over 15 x squared y. So this one, we will apply the quotient rule. First, we will simplify your fraction 5 over 15. And this will give you the answer of 1 over 3. And as for the variables, as you can see, we have a variable x in your numerator as well as in your denominator. We will copy the variable and then you will subtract them using the quotient rule. So that is 4 minus 2. And as for the variable y, you will copy the variable y and then subtract the exponents, which is 2. And by the way, this one, it has an invisible exponent, which is 1. So that is y raised to 2 minus 1. And to simplify this, your answer must be, okay, the answer is 1 over 3 x squared y. So I can extend this one or we can simply simplify our answer as x squared y over 3. And this is the simplified form of number 2. Next, let's move on to item number 3. For number 3, we will use the power rule in the loss of exponents. In the power rule, all you need to do is to multiply the exponents of the base here inside the parentheses and then simplify. Here, we have here the base of 2 in which it has an exponent of 1. So that is 2 times 1. So that is 2 raised to the second power. Again, I multiply the exponent 1 and the exponent 2 outside the parentheses. Next, x raised to 2 times 2 followed by z raised to 3 times 2. So we will simplify your 2 squared is the same as 2 times 2. So the answer here is 4. For the x variable, we have x 2 times 2 which is equal to 4. And for the z variable, copy your z and then 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. And this is now the answer for item number 3. Now as for your activity guys, I will assign you this activity wherein you are given 5, a raised to 3, b raised to 5, raised to the third power. Comment your answer. in the comment section.
Okay? So you will apply what we have done in number 3 for you to solve number 4. Now let's continue with the main problem. Our main problem here is this. Okay? We have 3x y raised to 3 squared times 4 x squared y, raised, y to raised to 4 squared. So using the power rule, we can individually simplify first this expression. We have read exponent of 1. We have 3 raised to 1 times 2. So here we have exponent of 1. We have x raised to 1 times 2. And as for the y variable, you have y raised to 3 times 2. So we will enclose it by parentheses. And for the second part, invisible 1, we have 4 raised to 1 times 2. And for the x variable, copy x and then 2 times 2. So we are expo multiplying exponents. For the y variable, you have y raised to 4 times 2. Enclosed by the parentheses. Here, when you simplify this, this is 3 squared. And 3 squared is the same as 9 times 9. So, ah sorry, not 9 times 9, that is 3 times 3. So this will give us the answer of 9. And for the x variable, x squared, because that is 1 times 2. For the y variable, that is 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. So we are done with the first part. The simplified form of 3x, y cubed squared, is this, 9x squared, y raised to 6. Next, here, if you have 4 raised to 1 times 2, that is the same as 4 squared. Okay? So 4 squared is the same as 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. So therefore, this is 16. Next, x raised to the 4th power, because that is 2 times 2. For the y variable, y raised to 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. So what we have here is to multiply for uh, these two expressions. First, we have eight, um, 9 times 16. Okay, what is the answer in 9 times 16? 9 times 10 is 90. 9 times 6 is 54. So 90 plus 54, that is 144. So we have 144. For the variable x, copy your variable x, x, and then add exponents. 2 plus 4. We are using the product rule. Next, for the y variable, you have to simplify this. y raised to 6 plus 8. So simplify natin. You have 144. x raised to 6. y raised to the 14th power. And this is now the answer for item number 1. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video on how to simplify this kind of exponents or given expression using the laws of exponents in algebra. It is a basic thing for you to know when it comes to algebra because uh, one of the fu fundamentals of algebra are exponents. So I hope you learned something from this video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!